Hello, everybody, and welcome into Real Sports Live for this matchup between the Corpus Christi Ray Texans and the Corpus Christi Moody Trojans as we bring you the action live from Cabinet Stadium here in Corpus Christi, Texas. My name is Frank Ardenas, and I will be your commentator for this evening, and we hope you stick with us through this matchup as we bring you all the action here. Again, from Corpus Christi, this is a homecoming game for the Moody Trojans, and so it's going to be a good one here as both squads head to the center of the field there. Now again, this matchup, the first for both in district play. That is 5A Division One. Over here in District 15. So we'll see the kind of game that these players will have. If you're joining us for the first time, this is Rio Sports Live. And we hope you all will stick with us through this matchup and they will stay with us the whole way through. And so it looks like They've made some decisions. We're having some difficulty up here working with some of our equipment, so bear with us as we're trying to get everything sorted out. But when everything is good to go, we should be firing on all cylinders as both of these squads will be. So we may, may miss some bit of the action here. And so kicking off will be the Trojans as they kick off to the Texans. And so we'll see what the damage is done here. The Texans coming into this one 0-2 on this season, whereas the Trojans come into this one 2-1. Trojans looking to continue earning wins while the Texans look to earn their first of the season. That one will be caught in the end zone and brought forward and stopped at about the two, looks to be the 17 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Texans to get this one started. And so let's pull up our roster here, make sure we got a good glimpse of all the athletes out here. So the Texans lining up on offense in the shotgun gets the snap to give up over the left side and that's only good for about a gain of two. On the play, Juan Cavazos on the carry for the Texans. Hurry up offense as they line right back up on the line. There's a trip set on the right with a lone receiver to his left. And Ben De La Serta in at quarterback. He'll take the snap, look over to his right, makes the throw, and the catch is made by Brandon Rhodes as he steps out of bounds after the grab. He will only gain about one or two yards on the play. That'll set up third and about five or six. So 
Third and six here. De La Serta takes the snap, looking over to his left. He's got plenty of time to make the throw. Heaves it down the field and getting there a little early. And the flag will be thrown. So that should be an automatic first down as it will looks clear as day to be a defensive pass interference. So they'll go ahead and set up the chance as they move them along. We'll get the official call here. So it'll be an automatic first down, no spot of the foul. It'll just be 15 yards forward, so it'll be first and 10 from the 35 yard line, which I don't know how correct that might be. They're gonna talk it over. Looks like they're just siding on the spot of the foul, it looks like. They're gonna talk it over, not sure what's going on here. De La Serta takes a snap, fakes the give, makes a throw and swatted away there. That play made there by Hezekiah Johnson. Good coverage on his part. The linebacker basically playing in the corner position for the Trojans. But the Texans again quick to the line. De La Serta. Two, receiver, two receivers to his left and two running backs toward him. He fakes the handoff as he keeps it. And he's going to be brought down. Only a gain of about two. And it looks like they're trying to stop the clock. I'm not sure what's going on here. And it looks like they're trying to reset the play clock. So here we go, De La Serta in the shotgun. Takes the snap, looking in the middle of the field, has a little bit of time there and gets it off and it's gonna be caught, but short of the first down marker. On the catch there was number 16 again, Braden Rhodes. Braden Rhodes, the freshman on the grab, and it looks like the punt unit will be coming out here for the fourth and five. A snap and a high punt. It doesn't really go too far, but it gets a nice Texan roll as it goes out of bounds. That will set up the Trojans for their first drive of the night. It'll be first and 10 in pretty good field position right around the 35. So out come the Trojans. We'll see what kind of damage they can do here. In at quarterback is John Michael Ortega. Ortega takes the snap as he drops back, looks over to the right side of the field. Nearly making the grab there was Luis Pena, but 
He was out of bounds. Even if he would have made the catch, it was uh, going to be tough to tell whether or not he would have been in bounds. So that'll set up second and 10 from the 36 yard line. A great opportunity for the Trojans to take a shot down the field just to see what kind of defense they're working with and they made good on it. The snap and the give off to the right side and picking up about a yard on the play, that was Darrell Nation. Sets up a third and nine for the Trojans. So a slow start on offense for both squads if the Trojans can't pick up a first down here. As Ortega runs up to the huddle. Now already more than three minutes gone by on the clock. Ortega dropping back, looking over to his left, makes the throw toward the outside and a catch is made for a first down and just a little bit more. That was Nation on the grab. Catch made just outside the numbers by Nation as he uh, went upstairs to grab it. And so that'll set up a first and 10 for the Trojans. Ortega. Under center, takes the snap and they give up on the left side, breaking a couple of tackles and breaking another just to pick up about 15 yards there. They're gonna say he was actually down a little bit behind, a little bit closer than previously thought, but still enough for a first down. On the carry was Daquan Lindsey. So Lindsey picking up enough for a first down. So that will set up first and 10 from the 25 yard line for the Trojans. Ortega back under center, the snap and hands it off to Nation who goes around the right edge and he heads for the end zone. Touchdown Trojans. He had everything working for him on that one as he just Got the football, ran around the right side, and went into the end zone untouched. Let's check out that replay. To give over to Nation, just got around a would-be tackler on the right side and turned on the Jets to break through the goal line. The snap and a good kick. That one should be good, and it will be. And so the Trojans putting up seven, drawing first blood. We'll be back after this. Cherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Cherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. And we welcome you back into the broadcast here on Real Sports Live. The Moody Trojans going up. 7-0 over the Ray Texans. The Trojans scoring on a 25-yard dash by Darrell Nation. And a deep kick goes into the back of the end zone. So that will... 
Bring up first and 10 for the Texans as they try and earn those points back. And so they will set up shop at the 25 yard line, first and 10. Looking to do a lot better than they did on their previous drive. We're able to get a first down as a result of a pass interference, but besides that, not much else working for them. So we'll see what they can put together here. The snap and the give off over the left side and picking up about four yards after chugging it along there was Juan Cavazos. So Cavazos setting up a second and six for the Texans. Again, this kind of hurry up offense style from the Texans. Hopefully they can keep the Trojans on their toes, but even if as they line up pretty quickly, it's not exactly going off as fast as they would hope it could. Delacerto taking the snap as he rolls over to his right side. He's got plenty of time, but somebody in pursuit decides to just put the ball in the bread in the bread basket and instead gets taken down for a loss of about four. So that run on the previous play by Cavazos basically wiped clean. After Delacerta goes down, he had an opportunity to just throw the ball away, but instead decided to keep it to try and pick up some sort of yardage. But instead, it sets up a long third and ten for the Texans. Delacerta looking to make something happen. But they're going to throw a flag. And it looks like it might have been a false start. And it, it is a false start on the Texans, so they'll push him back five yards. So third and 15 now. Third and 15. A man in motion going over to the left side of De La Serta. The snap. He's got some time as he throws over to Cavazos. Cavazos moves away from one would-be tackler and then goes down after he gains about all 15 of the yards. So that will set up a first and 10 for the Texans. Good play design, looking over to his right side after Cavazos. Ran a nice little wheel route to get himself some space and was able to get away from one tackle. And that brought, gave him just enough to pick up a first down. And it looks like we've got more movement down on the line. So that'll be another false start on the Texans. Looks like that one was on EJ Uresti. De La Serta. Looking for somebody to move in motion. He'll take the snap and it looks like there's gonna be a timeout call by the Texans. So with that, we'll take a break. And we'll be back after this. Service is attitude. How far are we willing to go to service our community, our dealership here for you, and you? Sky's the limit. Forever Memories Antiques and Collectibles, located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, is filled with vintage items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. 
Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vital record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories, forever memories, antiques and collectibles in San Benito. We're a world-class Cadillac, Buick, and GMC dealership, and we're in your neighborhood. Come by and check us out. We're waiting for you. And we welcome you back, ladies and gentlemen, to the action as the ball is given off to Cavazos, who goes off to his left and picks up about four yards on the play. So that will be actually a gain of uh, 10 after the penalty, excuse me. So that'll be second and five, or second and six, rather, for the Texans. Della Serta takes the snap and the give over to Cavazos again as he bites up the middle and picks up just enough for another first down. And looks like they might have gotten away with a uh, false start there for a second. But they were able to pick up the first, and so. It'll be first and 10 from the 45. Looking to get into enemy territory. Della Serta. Pumps to his right, and then he throws it down the field into double coverage, but it's caught! An amazing grab as he steps out of bounds. That was Luis Morales on the catch, and that sets up a first and 10 after a huge play. Let's check that out one more time. Replay on the right side of your screen. And again, Della Serta pump faking to his right and then just tossing it all the way down the field. And a great play. Another handoff to Cavazos as he picks up a couple of yards there. For some reason, the clock was running even though the Player made the catch and went out of bounds. So let's try and fix uh, fix our time up here. And so the Texans within striking distance now, right in the red zone. That should be an offsides. We'll see if they, no it won't be as they make a throw over to the right side. That pass falls incomplete. The Texans looking for a flag, but nothing there. And so, it'll be third down and about seven for the Texans. De La Serta calling an audible at the line. He's got a running back to his left. The snap and the give off to the right. On the carry was number 21, Brandon Chapa. Didn't really gain anything on that play. So that'll set up a long fourth and eight. Let's see if they try and draw the Trojans off sides again to make a free play and if not, hopefully get this one going. The man in motion. He'll make a heave into the end zone, but it's way overthrown. An opportunity at it, but nothing there, and that will be a turnover on downs for the Texans. Somewhat of a very anticlimactic uh, play on that part as Morales went in motion. They made the throw down the field, but again, stellar coverage from the Trojans, and that will be a turnover on downs, first and 10. Moody. 
Going in the other direction from the 18. The snap and Ortega with a quick give. And it looks like that one was given to Daquan Lindsay. Lindsay picking up about four. That sets up second and six. Ortega takes a snap and the give to Nation as he goes around the left side this time instead of the right, which was the exact same kind of play that he scored on. from the 41 yard line. Apologies ladies and gentlemen if you couldn't hear me. I had a little bit of technical difficulties with the microphone. But it's first and 10 for the Trojans. A blitz coming but it looks like there might have been some movement down on the line. And it'll be a false start against the Trojans. So that'll push them back five yards. First and 10. Or first and 15 rather. The give and stopped in the backfield. Was a solid tackle made there by Justin Diaz. Sets up second and 15 after no gain on the play. And if I'm the Trojans right now, you would start thinking about maybe taking a shot down the field or trying to get a pass play off because of the way the Texans defense were able to let it go. And sure enough, Ortega drops all the way back onto the right hash mark. He throws in the middle of the field, but nothing there. As a throw falls incomplete. So a long third and 15. And it looks like there's going to be a timeout on the field by Moody. So both teams already burning a timeout here in the first with uh, 50 seconds remaining. Heading into the second. We'll be back after this. If you want to get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. Basketball clubs and uniforms too, we customize for you. Your family tradition, from generation to generation. From Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Myra Sports and more, where kids get cool stuff. We bring you back as Ortega made a throw over to his left and just out of the reach of Darrell Nation. That will set up a fourth down. So the punting unit coming out for the Trojans. Miss handles the snap and 
Picks it back up and it's blocked. Goes into the end zone. It's recovered by the Texans. Touchdown, Texans. An incredible play. It was blocked and recovered there. And off a bad snap, the Texans able to tie it up. As we await the extra point, the kick is up and it is good. We've got a tie ball game from Cavanis. Full Street Meat Market with the best selection of quality meats, beef ribs, Angus beef fajitas, and Staple Street brand sausage. Featuring our new authentic family recipe for pony spices. Check out our weekly specials. Your one-stop shop for everything you need for your next barbecue. Ice, charcoal, wood, and adult beverages. We are your local football headquarters. Look for our new location coming early 2022 at 7418 South Staple Street. We're a proud advertising partner with Real Sports Live and the Coastal Band and RGV and supporting all our local sports and athletes. Staple Street Meat Market. Here at Texas A&M University Kingsville, we are a family. We support each other through thick and thin. We work together, grow together, excel together. We inspire each other to become the great minds of the future. We are here to ensure you succeed. Apply today to get started. This is your time. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, into Real Sports Live again. Coming off a special team score by the Ray Texans after a bad snap on the Trojans punt. Was uh, mishandled, and as, the, and as the punter was trying to pick it back up and trying to kick it again, it was blocked and then recovered in the end zone. So the Texans able to tie it up now as they kick it right back to the Trojans. Ball will be picked up by Nation as he goes around the right. He'll just step out of bounds. So it will be first and 10. For the Trojans. I believe at the 26 yard line. So first and 10, Ortega, the give and dropped in the backfield. This Texans defense is fired up now after that previous uh, special teams play. That was Dylan Gutierrez on the hit. He bit right through the line and was able to make the play. And it looks like after that, we will head straight into the second quarter. So we will move the football to the other side of the field. Tie ball game from Cabinet Stadium, seven to seven. The Trojans and the Texans, neck and neck. Be the voice for children, volunteer with Casa of the Coastal Bend. Help us break the cycle of child abuse and neglect. Attend one of four information sessions and learn how you can become a CASA volunteer, providing children in foster care strong voices, healing hearts, and the opportunity to thrive. After all, these children are our future. Visit CoastalBendCASA.org and discover how you can make a positive change in a child's life. Every child has a chance. It's you. Hi, I'm Joe with Valencia Heating and Air. Are you worried that your AC might not make it through another brutal summer? 
Well, I can offer you affordable air conditioning comfort with custom prices that won't break the bank. We service all units across the Coastal Bend, and there's no additional weekend or after hour fees. We treat our customers the way we would want to be treated, especially when it comes to costly repairs. So if you need service, repairs, or replacement, call Joe to keep you cool. Valencia Heating and Air. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, into Real Sports Live. We bring you the second quarter of action. As the Trojans get to move, and that should be a free play. Ortega looking down the field, makes the throw. That's going to go incomplete. Really missed an opportunity there. And so second and 10 after the incomplete pass for the Trojans. Looked like there was some movement down on the line, but they didn't say anything. Ortega making the throw and Nation's got it downfield and he needs a block. Breaks free as he heads over to about the 35 yard line and that will be a huge gain for Mr. Nation. Another first down after another big play. As he seems to be doing everything for the Trojans tonight. First and 10 now in enemy territory. The snap Ortega, the give up the middle, but he's rocked as he's Trying to get up field. So that was Daquan Lindsay on the carry. Second and about eight. Ortega with a double twin set. The snap, play action, throw over to the right side and just out of the reach of Luis Pena. So the incomplete pass will set up a third and eight. Third down, keep an eye on the man in the slot, but instead it's gonna be a dump off to the right. Lindsay on the grab as he steps out of bounds and that will only be good for about three yards. So that sets up a fourth and five. So the Trojans looking to go for it here. Ortega. Gets the snap, a blitz coming, the throw over to Nation, but he drops it. And so, just like that, it'll be a turnover on downs and the ball will go to the Texans with momentum. So out come the Texans looking for some sort of offense after their defense and special teams took care of business on back-to-back -back drives. Delacerta taking the snap and he gives it up to Cavazos who breaks free up the middle but the ball comes out as it's punched out by Benya and it'll be recovered by the Trojans. Just when you thought
that Cavazos was gonna break free and possibly score. Luis Pena was there to punch it out. And there to pick it up were Hezekiah Johnson and Jadren Saucedo. So it will be first and 10 for the Trojans. After a big play made by Pena. Ball spotted inside the 10, right around the six. So Ortega goes under center. He'll give the ball off as it looks like a big run from Daquan Lindsey, but uh, it looks like there might have been some movement. They should have blew the play dead before he took off. Ah, so will be in a legal formation. So half the distance to the goal, that'll push them back only about three yards. So now it will be first and 13 from the three yard line. The give again and a nice Spin move there on the carry from Lindsay. Putting the defender in the spin cycle and then he gains about eight yards on the play. Brings up a second and five. The give again to Lindsay as he goes, cuts back inside. And he picks up just enough for a first down and more. Back to back, solid runs from Lindsay and it looks like gonna be a timeout on the field. So with that, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back following the timeout. You're gonna find the opportunity to purchase the best high quality scrubs soon after I learned about how the EDC was helping out uh, the community and so I did meet with uh, Ms. Castillo she made it very easy very friendly and she walked me every step of the way I couldn't have done it without their help Music lovers, you have to stop and see the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles, how about a 45 with a single you just have to have? Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories, 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. And we welcome you back in as after a, another big gain from Durrell Nation. Picks up another first down for the Trojans. Running the ball with ease at the moment. And it looks like they should stick with that the whole way. The holes have been opening up for them and on the inside and every time they take it around the edge, they've been able to pick up plenty of yards. To give up the middle to Lindsay and again, another big gain of about eight yards. So this running attack of Lindsay and Nation has done wonders so far for the Trojans. Does it continue to rack up yards on the ground? Another give to Nation and that will be enough for a first. So another about five or six yards on the carry. Move the chains. Just keep chugging along as that clock continues to tick. 
And it's gone by quickly here in the second quarter. Or at least it's starting to. Ortega again under center. Nation in motion. He'll get the ball as he goes inside. Hurdles but loses the football. It's going to go out of bounds, but were the Texans able to get it? No, it ran out of bounds. And a lot of slippery footballs out there as Nation adding a fumble to the resume. Not sure why the clock is rolling as that ball clearly went out of bounds. But we'll try and uh, catch back up here. Ortega under center and the give to Lindsey. Only picks up about three on the play. Not sure why they're calling a stop to the clock. Now we're rolling again. Uh, third and five here for the Trojans. Now in the shotgun, spreading it out a little bit here. Ortega looking to his right, then to his left, and he makes the throw on the out route. And a great catch there by number 19 for the Trojans. That's Clarence McGill. He's usually in at defensive back, but looks like he's getting uh, duties on both sides of the football. So Ortega on that spread formation again, looking over to his right and then throws a screen pass over on the left. Lindsey's got a block. Looks like there was a hold and they will throw the flag as he gets across the goal line. But this one's easily coming back. He had enough room. He could have gotten through there. Almost without the block, but on the hold there was Ryan Martinez, the wide receiver out there on the outside of the play. So, you know, as a receiver, you got to, you know, they're not really used to making those types of blocks. And on a screenplay, you got to do what's best for your team and he did but nothing there that ball hitting the turf on the throw from Ortega looking for Pena but that one falling incomplete so that will bring up a I believe it should be a third down It's actually second down. So it says down on the field. So second and about three. The give to Nation as he breaks one tackle off on the left and pushes his way forward to the, looks to be the 16 yard line. Ortega now under center. Jumbo package. And that was Hezekiah Johnson on the carry. Only a gain of about two on the play. 
as the clock continues to wind down. We head to just under six minutes here in the second quarter. So we draw closer and closer to halftime. The score still tied. Ortega, the give to Nation around the right side. Nobody blew the whistle as he didn't go down, and it's got to be a touchdown for the Trojans. On the play, trying to make the tackle was Nick Talavera. He wasn't able to bring him down. Nation stayed apparently on his feet as he kept his hands down. His knees never touched the ground, and he just stayed up and he got in for the score. Let's look at that again. And I'm not sure how to rate that as the kick goes up and it's good. We can check that out one more time, folks. Again, running over to the right side, nothing happening. It looked like, yeah, he stayed on top of the defender, ran over to the right and went into the end zone for a score. And so, in one of the strangest plays I've seen in a long time, the Trojans go up 14 to seven. We'll be back after this. Sherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. And welcome back to Real Sports Live. We're gonna, as uh, the kick was already, you know, we already had the kickoff going on and the uh, Texans were able to set up field position. We're gonna, we're just gonna backtrack once again to this replay because it's, it's incredible what happened on the play. As again, right there, it looked like he was down and he got right back up and went into the end zone as he was on top of the defender when he rolled over as he was getting tackled. So Darrell Nation now with two touchdowns on his resume or on the stat sheet for tonight after that. And again, what I consider one of the most confusing plays I've ever seen, but he did roll over on the defender and he stayed up and none of the whistles were blown. And it's like to tell you play until you hear that whistle. And Darrell Nation getting the credit on the touchdown. So he's got two on the night. And now the Texans looking to answer. De La Serta in the shotgun, gets the snap and the handoff over to the right. And that was Cavazos on the carry. Only a gain of about one yard. He might have even lost a yard actually on that play. So it should be a third and three. De La Serta again in the shotgun. He'll take the snap. Play action as he decides to keep it, running toward his left and... Nothing doing there. On the stop was uh, Salcedo. And so just like that, it's first and 10 for the Texans as it looks like they did pick up enough for a first. 
the snap and again the carry by De La Serta as he goes down after picking up about four. So they set up again. De La Serta. Play action as he makes the throw, losing the football, but they're going to say it was incomplete. So it looks like Della Serta in the shotgun to uh, four wide receivers set up for him. Play action to Cavazos. Quick throw over to the left, making a move to the inside and staying afloat. Picks up the first, but there is a penalty. And it looks like there is a injury on the field. So with that, we'll take a quick break and be back after this. Service is attitude. How far are we willing to go to service our community, our dealership here at Fruya, and you? Sky's the limit. Forever Memories Antiques and Collectibles, located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, is filled with vintage items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever Memories Antiques and Collectibles in San Benito. We're a world-class Cadillac, Buick, and GMC dealership, and we're in your neighborhood. Come by and check us out. We're waiting for you. And we bring it back, and it looks like it'll be a running back throw, but it goes out of bounds as Cavazos received the handoff and tried to make the throw down the field. That will set up a long fourth in about, well, forever depending on how you look at it. So the punt unit is on hand for the Texans. As we approach the two minute mark here in the second, a high kick that does get a lot of push there. Nation almost loses the football, but it gets right on top of it. It'll be first and 10 for the Trojans as we will, we should see the two minute offense coming out here. And it looks like the play, the uh, clock didn't run. So it's actually going to be uh, still 2-12 on the scoreboard here. Despite a play running, so. Well, it happens sometimes. And so here we go, two minutes and 12 seconds remaining here in the first half. It looks like Ortega has some extra protection by his side as he drops back to pass. See some pressure, but a throw down the right side of the field. Pena going up and unable to come down with it. There on the pass deflection was Nick Talavera.
the snap. Play action, and it looked like it was going to be a bubble screen there for Nation, but that falls incomplete. So third and 10, and Ortega drops back and it'll be a screen pass just out of the hands. Of I believe number 44 on the screenplay. That was Adrian Ayala who was unable to come up with it and so not even 10 seconds officially off the board as they try and fix this here. There we go. So 202, the snap and the kick there from Ortega. And so it will be first and 10 for the Texans and the two minute offense for them coming out And so we'll see what they can do with two minutes remaining. I'm surprised the Trojans didn't try and run a couple of more of those screens in a, a different form or even just went with a couple of jet sweeps or something to get the offense kind of going before they could run a couple of play action plays to make some throws down the field as they've been, been able to burn the Texans all night. Meanwhile, Cavazos gets the handoff to the right and picks up about eight yards. So if the Texans can hurry it up, they're only about 53 yards from striking and tying this game up. So they can, if they can get these plays off quickly, they can make something happen. De La Cerda takes the snap, fakes the give, and Picks up enough for a first. That'll stop the clock momentarily. As they run up to the line, they got to call this play quickly. First and 10 from midfield. Clock's starting back up. They're looking off to the sideline at those beautiful cards there. And they've got to hustle it in. They've already burned 30 seconds. Just a handoff to Cavazos, and that clock is just going to continue to tick. Seems like there's no sense of urgency from this Texans team, and they've got to hurry. They're already underneath a minute. But they've got to make a play. They've got to do it now. And it looks like they're going to have to take a shot right here. 40 seconds remaining. Taking a while to set up this play. Finally getting it off. De La Cerda looking to his left. He's sensing some pressure as he rolls over to his right. Looking down the field. Makes the throw. Gets the grab at the 20. The 15 and getting out of bounds. That will stop the clock. And a big play on a nice throw from De La Cerda. On the grab there was Marcos Cavazos. The senior from the Texans. And that'll set up first and 10 inside the red zone. Ball placed at about the 14 yard line. The snap to De La Cerda as he gives it up to Cavazos going up the middle. The swim and getting in touchdown and it looks like it wasn't Cavazos. It was Brandon Chapa. Touchdown Texans. And again, on that hurry up, Chapa came in. I didn't even see him slide in. But he breaks a couple of tackles and makes the stretch at the goal line and gets in for the score. And then the kick is up. And it is good. And we've got a tie ball game. 15 seconds remaining here in the half. We'll keep you right here. 
before this one is over here at halftime. And so as we get ready to head toward halftime, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you can stay right here. We will go ahead and show you what the band's got to show as they prepare to take the field, heading into halftime while the teams head to the locker rooms. So make sure you keep it right here on Real Sports Live. We'll bring you all the action from the bands, that is. As we hear the sweet sound of their musics. While we take a break up here in the booth. And while the players take a break down there on the field. So keep it here if you're here for the band. Well, we hope you enjoy the show after. And so again, 15 seconds remaining here in the first half. As the Texans get set to kick this one off. Looks like a little pooch over to the right side as it is picked up by Nation. And he'll be stopped. Only gaining about a yard on the return. And so the Trojans do have the option of getting the ball when, the, when they come back. So we'll see if they kneel it here. And they will. So that will take us to halftime. The Trojans getting the ball back after the ha uh, uh, before we start the beginning of the second half. But until then, we've reached halftime. The Ray Texans tying it up. Before the clock struck zeros, we head to the locker rooms with the score 14 all. We're going to take a quick commercial break and then we'll bring you back to the bands. So we'll see you then. If you want to get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. Back for clubs and uniforms too, we customize for you. Your family tradition, from generation to generation. From Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Myra Sports and more, where kids get cool stuff. Meat Market, with the best selection of quality meats, beef ribs, Angus beef fajitas, and staple street brand sausage. Featuring our new authentic family recipe for pony spices. Check out our weekly specials. Your one-stop shop for everything you need for your next barbecue. Ice, charcoal, wood, and adult beverages. We are your local football headquarters. Look for our new location coming early 2022 at 7418 South Staple Street. We're a proud advertising partner with Real Sports Live and the Coastal Band and RGV and supporting all our local sports and athletes, Staple Street Meat Market.
Here at Texas A&M University Kingsville, we are a family. We support each other through thick and thin. We work together, grow together, excel together. We inspire each other to become the great minds of the future. We are here to ensure you succeed. Apply today to get started. This is your time. Be the voice for children. Volunteer with Casa of the Coastal Bend. Help us break the cycle of child abuse and neglect. Attend one of four information sessions and learn how you can become a CASA volunteer, providing children in foster care strong voices, healing hearts, and the opportunity to thrive. After all, these children are our future. Visit CoastalBendCasa.org and discover how you can make a positive change in a child's life. Every child has a chance. It's you. Hi, I'm Joe with Valencia Heating and Air. Are you worried that your AC might not make it through another brutal summer? Well, I can offer you affordable air conditioning comfort with custom prices that won't break the bank. We service all units across the Coastal Bend and there's no additional weekend or after hour fees. We treat our customers the way we would want to be treated, especially when it comes to costly repairs. So if you need service, repairs, or replacement, call Joe to keep you cool. Valencia Heating and Air. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, into Rio Sports Live. Second half of action from Corpus Christi at Cabinet Stadium, getting set to get underway here. Both teams currently with 14 points apiece as the Texans get set to kick here. Little Poocher off to the right side. It's going to be uh, falling on top of by Luis Pena. And that's how we will start. This one is uh, looks like no time actually ran off the clock, so let's go ahead and reset that very quickly. And so it will be first and 10 for the Moody Trojans here in this homecoming affair for them as they take the field looking to capitalize on some more offensive uh, prowess. A little bit of a bobble there off of the snap from uh, Ortega as he gave it off to the left side. They've been doing wonders on the ground all night long. As they've easily eclipsed 150 rushing yards. between Ortega Darrell Nation who just got the football off the right side and picks up about I'd say about a good 15 16 yards on the play So the run again the running prowess of Ortega Nation and I believe, I don't know why I wrote this one down. Nope, wrong sheet of paper, that's my fault. <laughs> it was Daquan Lindsey who was having himself a game as well. And so these guys all doing amazing things. And right now both touchdowns scored by Darrell Nation as that ball is given to Lindsey. The freakiest of all the touchdowns tonight scored by Nation after uh, everyone around him initially thought he was down by contact after he was uh, tackled. and Well, he rolled over the defender, got right back up onto his feet and just continued to kind of walk around for a little bit with the football in his hands and then he ran into the end zone after he realized he had never hit the ground with any knee or leg or forearm of any sort. And so he scored. The reverse here as the give goes down the left side, the 10, touchdown Trojans. 
Scoring on the reverse was Clarence McGill. Another name we've called already tonight as he's had a one reception of more than 20 yards and now he can add a run of about 40 plus yards as he takes it on the reverse all the way to the house and scores. As we look at that replay. So a 40 plus yard run all the way to the end zone touchdown. That'll add six to the total. However, when we uh, cut over to the replay, it looks like it was a missed PAT. So the score going to 20 to 14. And so the Trojans take the lead as they're up by six. So we'll keep you right here as we get set for the kickoff as it looks like they're uh, hustling out there to kick this one off as quickly as they can. It is already 9-10 after all, or 9-11 so to speak. So we await the kickoff here. And so the kick is off. And it looks like it'll roll out of bounds. So toss out that yellow flag and uh, move them forward. It should be first and 10 for the Texans in great field position on this. That yeah, looks like they're gonna go ahead and re-kick. So push that one five yards back. Can't really say they might not see the same exact kick, just this time not go out of bounds unless the Trojans decide to kick it deep here. And it looks like they will kick deep. That one corralled in as get to the left side, breaking two tackles and heading up the middle. Breaking up through the crowd and then picking up a solid amount of yards to get near midfield. On the run there was Luis Morales. Who tonight already does have a couple of receptions to his credit. So good on Morales for continuing the continuing to make some noise out here. And so here we go. The snap and the give up the middle. Cavasso is really not picking up too many yards there. I mean, it will be a gain of about three. So it'll be second and about seven. The snap to De La Serta. And it looks like he was gonna keep it for himself as he moved forward. That will be enough for a first down. Remaining in the spread and in the shotgun is De La Serta. 
the give over to Cavazos as he goes around the left side and picks up about five. You see Texans are now in enemy ter territory. They'll set back up, double twin set. De La Cerda and Cavazos looking at the sideline awaiting a call. De La Cerda. The handoff to Cavazos who picks up about two. As he tries to go through a hole on the right side. That brings up a third and about three now. For the Texans. Snap to De La Cerda. Option read. He decides to keep it as he goes off on the right. He breaks one tackle and gets brought down. We'll see where they mark him here. And it looks like it should be enough for a first down, and it will be. So it is. First and ten. De La Cerda with the handoff to Cavazos again. Picks up about another five yards. And if they keep trucking along just like that, five yards on top of five yards every play, they should be able to get into the end zone with ease. So we'll see. What they're able to do here if they continue to do that. Or if they try and run a play action play here to kind of catch the Trojans off guard. De La Cerda. The give to Cavazos again. He has a hole between the tackle on the guard on the left side. And after picking up about three yards, he's going to be stopped just shy of the first down marker. Now it looks like they only gave him about two, so it'll be third and three. The give off to the left. Close to the first down marker. Looks like they might actually break out the chains here. Choppa on the carry. They're not stopping the clock. Looks like it'll be fourth and inches here. And you would think that they would push him up on the line, and instead they're going to stay in the shotgun formation. Somebody jumped, but no flags thrown. A throw into the middle of the field. There's nobody there. And that'll be a turnover on downs and a very questionable play call on the part of the Texans. In that situation, you got to try for a hard count and even move the try and push the ball forward. You've got Cavazos has been able to pick up extra yards by pumping his feet, and instead of trying to give him the football and give him a chance of picking up the first down, you give the ball back to the Trojans up a score after you after you burned about five minutes off the clock, and now the Trojans with a chance to go up another score. After a very, very possible fourth and inches, or after they had an opportunity on fourth and inches to pick up a possible first down.
Looks like we may have an injured player on the field. But they got him off as quickly as they as he went down, and so they're gonna just run the clock again. And so the Trojans at the line. The give is to Nation on the right. Good block on the right side as he gets around another defender as he heads over to the right sideline and then steps out of bounds. That'll be a first down and more for Nation who continues to rack up the yardage. And so the Trojans gonna be taking their time here. As they get straight up to the line, only five seconds on the play clock. They gotta get something off quick. And they do. The give off the left side and with a stiff arm. Going out of bounds is Nathaniel Sada. So Sada with another gain of more than 10, so the chains get moved again. And just as the Texans were moving the football on the ground, the Trojans are doing the same here on this drive. Knowing the Trojans at one point in all of this, they will try and run a play action to catch the Texans off guard to try and get a ball down the field. And the give is up the middle and picking up a huge chunky yardage there on the run. Is Daquan Lindsey. Add another 25 plus yard run to Lindsey's day. And now we got first and 10 for the Trojans inside the 20. Looks to be about the 16 yard line. 10 yards to a first down, 16 to pay dirt. The give is to Nation as he goes over on the right. Splits defenders as he goes up and he will gain about eight or nine yards on the play. And it looks like we have an injured Texan on the field. We'll take a quick break. Uniform is etc. You're gonna find the opportunity to purchase the best high quality scrubs. Soon after I learned about how the EDC was helping out uh, the community, and so I did meet with uh, Ms. Castillo. She made it very easy, very friendly, and she walked me every step of the way. I couldn't have done it without their help. Music lovers, you have to stop and see the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles. How about a 45 with a single you just have to have? Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories, 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. And so we bring you back after the injury, timeout. The Trojans within striking distance after an eight yard carry by Darrell Nation. Ball could go to either Nation or Lindsey as they've continued to give it to both of them as they've been able to pick up yards and numbers effortlessly here. The snap, and this one actually going around the edge and into the end zone. Touchdown, Nathaniel Sada. And so the Trojans add six more. As we look at the replay here. 
Apologies, might have gotten the clip a little too on the end there. But regardless, the point is made. The Trojans come back down the field after the turnover on downs and put six more on the board and it looks like they're gonna go for two here. There is going to be a timeout called. By Moody. So we'll take a quick break. We'll be back after this. And we are back here on Real Sports Live. It's a two point conversion for the Moody Trojans here as they try and recover that missed PAT on their last touchdown. Untimed down, they give up to Lindsay as he breaks the tackle and breaks the plane. So put two more on the board and just like that, it's 28 to 14. The Trojans doubling up. The Texans will be back after this. And ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. Service is attitude. How far are we willing to go to service our community, our dealership here for you, and you? Sky's the limit. And we bring you back here with two minutes and 16 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. The Moody Trojans on top of the Ray Texans, 28 to 14. And a big return brought on by the Texans, only had the kicker to beat as he finally goes down. But he has the football in enemy territory. A huge run there by Marcos Cavazos. And it'll be first and 10 Texans in enemy territory at about the 44 yard line. So here we go, first and 10, the Texans. And a handoff up the middle is stopped at the line, it seems, but it looks like it will be a gain of about three yards there. On the carry was Brandon Chapa. Chapa. Gaining a lot of yards here. As he does have one score for the Texans which happened there at the end of the first half. Chapa with a stutter step as he tries to go through a, a hole, but it quickly closes. So only gains about two. That will bring up third and about six here. Chapa and Cavazos on either side of De La Cerda. Has a man in motion. Drops back to pass, has a blitzer coming in and he stopped! 
behind the line. Hezekia Johnson doing it again. Two sacks to his credit as he came on the blitz and sets up a long fourth and about 12. So the punt unit coming out for the Texans. So time ticking down, five, four, three on the game, on the play clock, and it looks like that will draw a flag. You would assume it's a delay of game. And it will be, and for some reason our clock up here isn't stopping. And finally got it under control. So that pushes them back five yards and some much needed Room to work for Durrell Nation. And they restarted the clock after the penalty. And so that will do it for the third quarter of play. We head to the fourth after a long second. We get a very quick fourth, uh, third quarter. So we head to the final period of the game, 28 to 14, the Trojans on top. Forever Memories Antiques and Collectibles, located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, is filled with vintage items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever Memories Antiques and Collectibles in San Benito. <laughs> We're a world-class Cadillac, Buick, and GMC dealership, and we're in your neighborhood. Come by and check us out. We're waiting for you. And we bring you back as it is now the fourth quarter from Cabinet Stadium. As the punt is off, it takes a roll. And it stopped at right at the one yard line. So a good kick there from the Texans punter. That was Jeremiah Canales. So a great kick from him and a good job by the special teams there to stuff that football right at the one. So it'll be first and 10 for the Trojans deep in their own territory. But the way they've been running the football, as long as they can get it up to Nation or as long as uh, I believe Lindsey can get it, on, uh, can just push up the middle the way he has been all night. They should be able to get out of this. So we'll see what the strategy is. And we've also got to keep an eye out back there. It looks like uh, somebody's moving. There will be a flag on the play. They're going to blow it dead. What will the call be, though? It looks like it could have gone against either team. And again, as I was mentioning, Sada was behind, was di uh, directly in the backfield. We'll see what the call is right here. And it will be encroachment on the defense. And so because of that, that will give the Trojans some breathing room and that'll be first and five. Give up the gut. Gain of about four. That brings up second and about one. 
maybe even two for the Trojans. Ortega under center. Looks like he checked to another play. He lost the football on the snap as he goes down. But that should be enough for a first. So it'll be first and 10 from the 12. First and 10 for Ortega and company. The snap and the give. Again, is over to Sada. As he breaks one tackle to push forward and gain another. Couple of yards on the carry, and so. Sets up second and two. Well, all of the lights plays in the background. Shout out to that Ray High School band. Ortega under center. Takes the snap, hands it off to Nation. Tripped up, but not before gaining a first down there. Good tackle there by Justin Diaz. First and 10 for the Trojans now. Play clock at eight. They need to hurry it up. The snap and the give once again up the middle. And on the carry was Lindsay. Second and four now for the Trojans. Blitz coming, but the give over to Sada. Gets behind one blocker and then goes. Leaps a little bit forward to pick up the first down. So first and 10 now for the Trojans. Moody again, just doing all their work on the ground right now. Not trying to do anything fancy, just picking up yardage and killing the clock. Again, as they hold the lead 18 to, 28 to 14, excuse me. The give is to Nation, he breaks one tackle in the backfield, breaks an ankle, but then gets swallowed up by the blitz. So a good play by the Texans defense. Brings up a second and 11. So they hurry to the line with only one second to get a playoff, and they will. Lindsey going up the middle, picking up about three on the carry.
brings up a... I believe... Third and six. The give is to Sada as he gets around the left side and then he pushes forward, picks up the first, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what the call is. Looks like it might be. Possibly an unsportsmanlike conduct. Not sure. It will be a first down. As a result of the play, we'll see what the call is here. I couldn't hear clearly what was going on down there, but it looks like they're just gonna go ahead and give them a fresh set of downs either way after picking up the first. So first and 10 for the Trojans. Nation goes in motion as he rolls over to his right. Only picks up about three yards on the carry. Maybe four. Under center, a man in motion, and the give is actually to Lindsey, who breaks the tackle, and there's nobody in front of him as he heads down the right sideline. Will he be stopped before he crosses the plane? He loses the football, but they're going to say he was down. Still a big play. Almost turned into a 52-yard touchdown. As we look at that one once again, the give was to Lindsey. He got past the first person to make contact with him, and then he ran all the way down to inside the five onto the three. So almost a 50-yard gain there, about 49 yards. So they hustle up to the line. Ortega, the give to Lindsey. He's stopped shy of the goal line at about the two. And just like that, a touchdown for Ortega. Check out that replay as he went straight up to the line. Ortega just grabbed it, went over to his left, and put it in there for the score. So add six more, and now they're just running away with it. Only four minutes remaining here. Good snap, good hold. The kick is up. And the kick is good, but there is a flag on the play. It'll be running into the kicker, so 
The PAT will be good. Trojans up 35 to 14. Under four minutes remaining. We'll be back after this. If you want to get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. Back for clubs and uniforms too, we customize for you. Your family tradition, from generation to generation. From Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Myra Sports and more, where kids get Back to the action we go. The kickoff from the Trojans as the return man for the Texans is brought down quickly. So first and 10 for the Texans as they gave us to Cavazos. Runs into his own lineman there and then falls forward for a gain of about five. So the Texans setting up for second and six now. Option read there for De La Cerda as he goes forward. Picks up about three to four yards there, third and four. Is what it says on the marquee. Just under three minutes remaining now. That should be enough for a first down. So it looks like they're going to move the chains here. Texans setting up just across midfield. The snap to De La Cerda. He gets away from the bunched up line there to pick up about two as we head to the two minute mark here in the fourth. Stuffed in the backfield. On the De La Cerda keeper, and so that will set up a third and about nine. Now 
Now we head to under a minute here. De La Serta driving back and tossing it deep, but nobody home. So that will stop the clock here. Driving back to pass De La Serta. Hezekiah Johnson on the blitz, looking to bring him down, and he manages to hit him, bef not before he can get the throw off, so that will stop the clock. And so that will be a turnover on downs and it will be first and 10 for the Trojans and they should be coming out here to do victory formation to effectively put this one in the books and give the Trojans their first win in district play. The ball is snapped, Ortega takes a knee and that should take us to the end of this one. As we wait to see how much time, and it looks like the uh, play clock, uh, we kind of misinterpreted how much time was actually on there. So they're going to take another knee. And that will do it. Here from Cavendish Stadium, the Moody Trojans taking the homecoming win over the Ray Texans, 35 to 14. And we appreciate everybody for tuning into this matchup tonight here on Real Sports Live. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, and find us on that Roku TV. Download the app and watch us anytime, anywhere. Again, we appreciate everybody for tuning in tonight. And as always, we hope to see you next time for Real Sports Live. My name is Frank Cardenas. Goodbye and good night.